What's up guys, it's KC Beast here, and today EA went ahead and dropped Series 4, so I'm going to be giving you guys my how-tos on how to make coins, how to profit from the promo drop, and pretty much what to do next, alright? So, before we get started guys, please go ahead and drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and go ahead and turn that notification bell on just so anytime I go live or I do one of these uh, how-to videos, you're informed and you're ready to go. So, with that being said, guys, um, I'm always going to be an advocate for playing the auction house as soon as a new promo drops. Now, when you do so, you have to be very careful on the cards that you're buying and selling. Uh, the auction house is going to be your best friend, or it could be your worst enemy if you don't know how to use it right, because you'll lose coins. Uh, the best thing you can do is pretty much filter things down I'm gonna show you how to do so and get the cheapest card um, available and just upsell it sell it for a little bit more coins than what you're buying it for um, and pretty much you're gonna make a good two to three thousand coins off every single card depending on the prices that you're giving the cards for now um, first and foremost guys what series four we did get a couple new challenges so if you don't have any coins to start Let's say you're just getting mad in or you don't feel like grinding anything else. Well, the gauntlet too just started, just dropped. And with the gauntlet, as we know, there's some pretty cool rewards in here that you get from doing this and it's not really too hard. So I do recommend you guys get this done as fast as possible. Uh, the gauntlet's gonna be probably your best friend um, when it comes to just, just overall like using the auction house um, if you don't have any coins. And you're gonna get uh, a free player plus another free player. I mean, the Gauntlet's is one of the easiest uh, promos, if you ask me, when it comes to like solo missions or, or challenges or battles, whatever they call them now. Um, yeah, rookies gonna be easy, veterans gonna be easy, legends should be a little tougher, but yeah, earn 25 in there it shouldn't be too bad. It should be pretty, pretty quick. I'd say maybe about an hour and a half, two hours. It should take you no more, no less. Um, I haven't tried them yet though, so I don't know if there's any crazy ones that are too hard. If you guys do get to a point in the gauntlet and you guys want me to break down like how to do a certain uh, challenge that you can't do, let me know down below and I'll be happy to do so for you. That's no problem at all. Um, but with that said, go ahead and crack out some of those gauntlets just so you can get some of these new players that we have in the game. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I think the gauntlet overall, it adds so much funk to the to the game. It, it allows you to, to just pretty much... Um, Oh, this is pretty cool. Mm, I get it. Okay. So you can pretty much turn these players into Gauntlet 2 players. You can, you can power them up to 92 overall, um, which is pretty cool. None of these guys really intrigue me besides Marshall Yanda, but I have a pretty good uh, right guard. So I'm probably going to get Marshall Yanda, guys. And I'm probably just going to go ahead and use him as like a backup, as crazy as that sounds. I would say him, maybe Jared Cook, Terrell Suggs is too slow, Xavier Rhodes is too slow, Emmanuel Sanders is way too slow. So none of those guys would be on my team. Jared Cook might be on my team, Marshall Yonda definitely. Um, yeah, one of them. So that's pretty much it for the gauntlet. We do have tons of uh, new level challenges, but let's get to the bread and butter guys. I know this is what you're here for. Let's see how to make some coins off this profit. Um, all right, so Auction House 101. A lot of us already know how the Auction House works, so let me try to be quick here. First things first, with the Auction House, the newest cards that are posted are always popping up first. So a lot of people, what they'll do is they will search for a certain card, whether it be for training or whether it be for, um, you know, let's say they need an 80 overall. At this point, you would only need this for training or for sets. But... If you needed anything like this, you'll see when you come here, there's going to be a certain um, number of items, and you're not going to see the newest ones. You're only going to see the newest 100 or 200, something like that, that were posted. You're not going to see every single card. So what you're going to have to do is filter things down. Now, the main thing is you're going to start with type. You can probably do this on buy now because 82s and 83s are my favorite sets. So let's just start with that, guys. We're going to do quality. Let's just start from scratch. The first thing that we're going to do here 
is we're gonna go down to 8283. This is my favorite set. If you've seen any of my other coin making methods, I use 82s, 83s uh, religiously. And I do so because they're so cheap. Um, and it's like a high, or, or like a, I can't even say high. It's like a low, you have a low lose rate. You're not gonna lose much in these, even if you don't sell them. Um, you can use it for training at the very least. And you know, you're gonna make at least 2,000 coins off each. So you can go for bigger snipes and there's tons of ways to do so. And if you guys do need a video on that as well, let me know. I will be happy to make you guys uh, a sniping tutorial on bigger snipes. But this is pretty much a consistent snipe that you can be making 100,000 coins with consistently every hour on the hour. It's pretty cool. Maybe at, at least, at least 60,000 coins, 70,000, 60 to 70, 100 if you're lucky, but 60 to 70. Um, anyways, so we're gonna go to quality, 82, 83, right? We're gonna go to type and we're gonna start filtering down by position. This is my favorite way to filter these down. Um, they tend to pop up a little quicker, I noticed, than doing it by teams. And it's just my, personally my favorite way. I mean, if you have a different way to snipe, by all means use your way. It's not really a bigger, it's not really gonna make a big difference as long as you're filtering things down and you're pretty much getting the biggest bang for your buck. So I'm using these 82s right now. I'm gonna buy them for 5,000. I'm gonna post them for about nine, eight. Now I'm gonna gauge because let's say it doesn't sell for nine. I'm gonna put it at nine. Let's say it just doesn't sell for this price. If it doesn't sell for 9,000, I know I have to lower this down maybe an extra 500 coins. And for the first hour or two of sniping, it's kind of just the gauging process. Like, yo, what can I sell this for at the highest point? Um, and, 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 and how am I gonna make profit off it? Wow, these are so cheap. These are major snipes, right? These 83s are major snipes. Somebody probably got them going. Boom. So 5,000 coins for an 83. Now you're saying, why would somebody post this up to this price? People are playing uh, the, the pack game right now. A lot of people are just buying packs, trying to get new Redux cards pulled. Um, that's not us. That's not what we're gonna do. So we're pretty much gonna put these up for about 11 to 12,000 if they're 83s. And we're gonna make a huge profit, a huge profit. And I know some of you guys are gonna tell me, yo, why would somebody put up these cards for so cheap if they can sell them for double the price? It's because people are dumb, one, and two, they just don't know. So that's where we come in. This is, this is where we make money. You pretty much are gonna take advantage of them not being patient and um, their lack of knowledge of how the auction house really works. Because yeah, you can sell these cards to get them out quick. A lot of people just wanna make their money, but this is crazy. These 83 overalls for 5,000 coins, even if at the very least, even if you're buying these for dang training, that's crazy. 500 training for 5,000 coins. You cannot beat that. You can't beat that. So right now, all your upgrades should be pretty much being made at this moment. Like, you're gonna wanna start upgrading your teams like crazy, guys. Right now is definitely the time to do so, to put a little money into your team and to, let's just find out if I can do it at 12, 12, 12 one. Um, yeah, so you can do this all day. You can snipe the, the auction house, you're gonna find cards left and right that are just popping up and you're gonna be able to make coins off of these because i'm buying so many tight ends i'm almost guaranteeing that i'm gonna have to repost a couple of these just because i'm reposting them right away so like i doubt they're all gonna sell at the same time but like dude you do this enough i guarantee you're gonna have five thousand coins a card two thousand coins three thousand coins and like i said you're, you're making these each card so just remember that remember that you as um, pretty much playing the auction house just have to kind of balance out the price and like I'm not saying that this is gonna be the perfect price to buy these cards I don't know if these cards start dropping down to like 5,000 consistently well then we're gonna have to sell them for about 9,000 give or take four to five thousand coins if you're buying these cards really really cheap you can pretty much post them up for 5,000 coins at the most more and somewhere in between four to 5,000, which you're still gonna be making 2,000 at the very least. 3,000, if you're really, if, if you're kind of like getting lucky and then 5,000 if you're just hitting snipes. So yeah, 
you, this is the time to do it, guys. These cards are everywhere. These cards, they, they just are. They're everywhere. People are going to be posting these constantly, and you're going to be pretty much making tons of profit doing so. And this is how I consistently keep my coin stack up and how I balance out, you know, saving coins and making coins. Because that's the name of the game. It's not just about saving coins. You have to be making coins. You have to be um, playing the auction house and just doing things that are going to get you to that next, uh, you know, that next level. Everybody wants to be a millionaire. Nobody wants to be broke, especially in any facet of this game. And plus, you want your team to be the best. You're not going to have a great team unless you have coins. So use this method, guys. Go ahead and play the auction house consistently. You will make tons of coins. I guarantee it. And this works. And this works. And this works. And if I didn't say it already, this works. So use this. Um, Yeah. All right, guys. So this is pretty much my first tip and trick. I will not be here the rest of the weekend. I'm leaving on a trip with uh, my beautiful girlfriend. We're going out of town to celebrate um, one of her best friend's birthdays. And we are going to have a good time. So, yeah. I will see you guys next time. Probably Monday. I would say Monday is probably when I'll be making another video and giving you guys kind of like a rundown of what I'm able to do. It kind of sucks that I won't be able to be playing this game too much this weekend, but it is what it is. You got to, you know, experience life too. So hopefully this weekend I'll have a good time. Um, I'm sure I will. I'm sure you guys will too. You stay blessed. You stay ready. You stay focused. You stay grinding. You, 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 get, you get on that grind every day, whether it be mad in real life. You guys focus on what's going to make your goals happen and you take the initiative and things happen. So stay blessed, guys. It's KCB. So I'm checking in and I'm checking out. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.